Instead of having to first select boundaries for trim and extend, Quick Mode selects all potential boundaries by default. After you start either the Trim or Extend commands, simply select the objects you want to trim or extend. We think you'll like the new Quick Mode option, but if it's not for you, the legacy behavior can be restored using the Trim Extend Mode system variable. With the new Break At Point command, you can separate a line arc, or open polyline into two objects at a specified point. As a separate command, break at point can be repeated by pressing enter. We made a few enhancements to revision clouds. When a revision cloud is selected, the properties palette now displays rev cloud as the object type instead of polyline. You can also change the arc chord length of a selected revision cloud from the miscellaneous section on the properties palette, or from the command window with the new rev cloud properties command. Use the new rev cloud arc variant system variable to control whether the chord lengths of the arcs vary in length or are uniform when inserted. The quick option of the measure geom command now supports extracting areas and perimeters from within enclosed areas in a 2D drawing. Clicking within a closed area highlights it in green and displays the calculated values in the command window and next to the cursor. In 2021, we've added a new drawing history feature, providing automatic insights right within the drawing to see the evolution of your work. Let's say you just got back from a meeting with a client to get feedback on some recent work. When you open the file, you're immediately notified that the drawing's been updated. You can enter a compare state to view the differences between the current version with the last one that you saved. Now, your team experimented with adding some rooms on the first floor, but during the review, the client said that she wanted to go back to an open floor plan that you had earlier. You can pull up the new Drawing History palette to see past versions of the drawing. From this palette, you can filter previous versions by who saved them. You can also filter by when the drawing was saved. This looks like the right plan. From the history palette, you can choose to compare this past version with the current drawing. You'll see the open floor plan from the previous version represented in red. Let's turn off visibility for the previous version so you can select the new geometry and erase it. When you turn the previous version back on, it will show the open floor plan. You can use the import feature to bring this geometry into the current drawing. And since this is a live comparison, any deleted geometry that was shared by both versions will show in the previous version so you can import that back to the current drawing. So now the open floor plan is restored. One benefit here is that the geometry that you import will automatically be added to the correct layer based on the layer from the previous version. Now, there were some recent changes that you wanted to keep in the drawing. We can see them here again and you can leave them in place and exit the compare state with the best of both versions. What's best is that we did this without having to save or manage separate file versions. So with drawing history, you can get insight into the evolution of your work easier than ever before. The new XREF Compare feature in AutoCAD 2021 helps you understand what's changed in the files that your drawing references. Let's say you've recently begun work on the power for a building. As you open the drawing, you'll see that there's a change to the floor plan through this bubble notification. You can choose to view the differences right from the notification. 
we've added some functionality to the DWG Compare experience to accommodate the additional complexity with managing XREFs. Here, you can toggle visibility to turn off the previous XREF version, or to turn off the most recent XREF version. You can also toggle visibility for the geometry in the XREF that hasn't changed, as well as the geometry that isn't being compared, such as the host drawing or other references. As you navigate to the changes in the XREF, you can edit the geometry of the host drawing. There are some outlets here that need to be adjusted to accommodate the new floor plan. You can reference the previous and current XREF versions to guide your edits. Here, you can choose to view only the new XREF version to make sure that your changes work with the new layout. And for those who rely on the XREF palette to manage updates, you can also enter the comparison from within the palette. When you reload an XREF from the palette, you'll be presented with an option to compare the changes. You can navigate these changes and make sure no further updates are needed. In the past, it's been a manual and time-consuming process to keep track of the changes in the project around you. The other drawings tab on the blocks palette has been renamed to the libraries tab. You can easily choose a folder or a drawing file to act as a library of block definitions. The Libraries tab also provides convenient access across different locations and devices. When you use your Autodesk account with a supported cloud storage provider, you can access your recent blocks and block libraries from any device using AutoCAD or the AutoCAD web app. Supported cloud storage providers include Box, Dropbox, and Microsoft OneDrive. <music> Gestures are now supported for touch-enabled devices. When there's no active command, swipe with one or two fingers to pan. And when a command is active, swipe with two fingers. Pinch with two fingers to zoom out, and spread with two fingers to zoom in. Tap on an object to select it, or drag one finger left to right to specify a window selection, or right to left to specify a crossing selection. When a command is active, you can tap a location to specify a point. For more precise control, drag your finger over an object until you see the object snap. Double tap one finger to end the command or clear a selection.